Hi, third through fifth grade. Today we're going to do a vase with flowers in it. This is the picture I will be working from. All right. So let's get started. You want to do this portrait the long way. All right. Um, so your vase. We're going to start with the vase. You don't want to do it too high up. You won't have flower. You won't have room for your flowers. So you want to do about halfway. I'm going to do an oval to start with. A sideways skinny oval right below my sideways skinny oval I'm gonna do a circle the circle should be wider than your oval for this particular base and then right below it we're gonna do another skinny oval it should be centered so if this is the center of this oval, I want to bring an invisible line down. Make sure this is center too. Okay, to keep it symmetrical or it's going to look lopsided. You don't want that. All right, so now we have our main shapes to start our base. I'm going to just perfect a few areas. Fine tune them. Okay, now we're gonna connect our lines. So we're gonna put the letter C here and the opposite letter C here. So they're both kind of going inward. Then you can do the same thing on the bottom, C and C. Since this is not a see-through vase, we're gonna have stuff on it. We're gonna erase, well, if it was a see-through vase, you would leave this line, but since it's not, Let's erase that. So we're going to erase all the connecting lines. And there we go. So we want to add a couple more details to the space. I want to give it a trim before we start on the flowers. A trim at the top and at the bottom. Okay, almost there. You see how I'm just kind of fixing up my edges, making them nice. We started very loose, but now we're kind of tightening up our lines. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Let's add a horizon line. Basically this time the horizon line would be a table and wall. Let's do invisible line across and cross over. Okay. Now, I'm going to do maybe like five random circles. All right. Coming from these five random circles, I want to add some skinny stems. Don't go over the trim like I just did. Oh, that's too thick. Okay. So now in between these, I'm also going to have some other lines. These will be long leaves. Okay, so now we have where everything's going to go for now. Let's do the leaves first because that's easier. So we're going to just, I'm going to put a big leaf at the end of each of those um, straight lines. As for our flowers, they're pretty simple. Just 
if you don't like the way I'm doing the petals, you can do your own. Make sure not to have anything go overlapping. You just go behind. Sometimes the petals can be seem shorter because they are bending backwards. So you can try what I'm going to do with this flower right here. Okay, so those, it's just an illusion. They're not really shorter. But since they're bent and we can only see partial of those flowers, they're going to look like they're smaller. I'm going to do the same thing here. So it's just kind of bent. So we just don't see the whole thing. Even there we go, and then this might be bent down. Just the way this is bent, that's probably bent on the other side. Okay, more realistic. Now I'm gonna add a design to my vase. If you want to do a different one, that's fine. If you're gonna do curved lines, like I'm gonna do a trim at the top, make sure it's curved like the top of your vases, or it won't make sense. It cannot be straight. This is a round object, all right? So it needs to be slightly turned at the ends, just like your vases. And I'm gonna do some polka dots. I'll fill them in later with the color. And what is this picture missing? Of course, a shadow. We don't have much room. I'm gonna pretend my sunlight is here. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna put a little X up here or my lamp whatever that means my shadow is going to be here okay and i'll fill it in later with the color i need be all right so for my wall i'm going to go from dark to light my table i'm going to go from light to dark don't even worry about the shadow right now i'll talk about that afterwards so let's you pick your own color for the wall if you don't want to do the colors i'm going to do but you need to go dark to light slowly i'm going to start with purple and then I'm going to transition down to this light purple I'm going to press a little lighter right here in the middle than I did at the top. But I don't want to get, I want to get rid of the stripe I have right now. Okay, I'm going to bring it really lightly down. Same purple. Really, really lightly. I'll go around the petals and stuff a little more carefully afterwards. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the light purple at the very bottom. And a little bit in the middle. Obviously, you want to pick a color that's not going to be used in the vase or the flowers or the table for your wall color. So now I cannot do purple flowers. I'm just going to go with pink. I 
Okay, I still see quite a bit of a stripe at the top. I will be fixing that. So watch to see how I fix that. The medium to light looks fine, but the dark to medium does not. So I'm gonna darken first up my dark a little bit more. Get rid of all those whites. And then I'm gonna bring it lower. And it should not be in a stripe. Did you see me draw a stripe across? No, you don't want that. This is a lot easier to do with soft pastels to do tones. So if you just want to learn how to do tones, I would recommend using soft pastels to start with. That's a little better. Oops. Okay. Okay. So let's move on. I'm going to go with orange ish for my table. So I'm going to start with some peach at the very top as my light tone. I'm going to bring that peach down to the middle. Now I'm going to pick my medium orange. Then I'm going to pick my dar oh, darker orange. Again, I'm not pressing very hard with any of these. You can, but I mean, your hand is going to get hurt and you're going to get tired. I as well love vibrant colors, but it's not worth hurting my hand over. This is like reddish orange. That's okay. I'll go over it with the regular orange as well to make it even more. So I'll go over this a little bit. Now, as for the shadow, that you should press hard to get a darker tone. Now a shadow is not black or brown or gray. It is whatever the color of the, how do I say it? If I was standing on cement, then my shadow would be gray. Okay, just darker gray than this regular cement. If I have an object on this brown table, then the object's shadow would be a darker brown. So whatever the object is on, or person that's the color so you don't shadows don't have their own color they are the color of whatever the shadow is on just darker okay so I'm gonna just make the shadow darker here I'm gonna do actually I should do the reddish one first shadows are always darkest closest to the object so I'm gonna kind of do this and then go out Yeah. You don't want a perfectly straight line at the end. I mean, you kind of want it blurry looking. Okay, there's my shadow. Okay, so now you have to decide what color is your base. At this point, I'm going to switch to color pencils. I'm going to go with like turquoise. So 
So you need, again, dark and light, medium. And remember what we talked about, the sun's on this side. Okay, so. Okay, so if my sun's on, my lamp is on this side, this side will be my darkest. So the left and the bottom will be the darkest area. Also, this side of the open lip, because this side isn't seeing this lamp. This side is. So I am going lighter now. And then I'm going to switch to even, hmm, this is like greenish. Let's try this. That's better. Okay, I'm almost happy with the tones in this. So I went from light to dark slowly. Okay, pick a color for your polka dots. I am just gonna go with a darker blue. Or it looks like violet. That's fine. I'm going to use the same color for my trim. And let's begin. I'm going to start the green parts of the plant first. Hmm. Now let's go with the darker. Don't worry about tones on these. They're too skinny to do that part. So I'm just going to do this for now. Pick a green that you like.
All right, I'm gonna outline my leaves with this green as well. I'm gonna fill it in lightly though. Or you can use a completely different green to fill it in. Okay, pick a yellow or orange for your pollen. Or, I mean, I've seen other colors too, so you decide. And then pick a dark and light pink if you're gonna do pink or pick two of the same color a dark and a light I'm gonna go like this and this I'm gonna fill all my petals in with light pink first easy okay I'm gonna pause while I do that so just an easy step just fill in all your petals the light version of the color for your flowers okay so now once you do the light, the dark, I'm going to kind of outline, but I'm also going to give it a little bit of tones. So you can watch me do a few to understand. So the inner part is usually going to be darker because it's not perfectly in the sun. The tips are sometimes lighter, depending on what's closest to the lamp or the sunlight. done all right let's take a look at what we did I hope yours turned out nice you can always leave me comments of what you've done I would love to see them okay have a good week I'll see you guys next week